Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today in this video we'll be talking about the differential diagnosis of membrane over tonsil. We all know that there are various conditions in which we can find membrane over the tonsil and in this video I have listed about the 10 conditions in which we can find membrane over the tonsil and some of the ways to differentiate between these conditions. Now just to remember these conditions I have made a mnemonic, diabetes mellitus, I love MAC VAT. Here D stands for diphtheria membrane. M stands for membranous tonsillitis, I for infectious mononucleosis, L for leukemia, M for malignancy, A for granulocytosis, C for candidiasis, V for Vincent's angina, A for aptos ulcer, and T for traumatic ulcer over the tonsil. Now let's talk about those conditions individually. In membranous tonsillitis, we know that it is acute in onset and it is caused due to pyogenic organism. So in throat swab and culture, we can find the growth of the pyogenic organisms like streptococcus. And here, the membrane is exudative which is formed over the medial surface of the tonsil along with the features of acute tonsillitis. Talking about the diphtheria membrane, the diphtheria membrane it is uh, usually slower in onset with less discomfort uh, over the uh, throat or less local discomfort as compared to the membranous tonsillitis. Here the membrane extends beyond the tonsil up to the soft palate and uh, the membrane is dirty grey in colour. And it is so much adherent that on removal, it leads to bleeding surface. In throat swab and culture, we can find the growth of the Corynebacterium diphtheria. Now, talking about the Vincent's angina, it is usually insidious in onset with less fever and less discomfort in the throat. The membrane is unilateral and removed easily, leading to irregular ulcer on the tonsil. The throat swab and culture uh, gives rise to a spirochid fusiform bacilli. Infectious mononucleosis, it is uh, usually uh, present in young adults and the tonsil here is very much enlarged, congested, congested with a uh, membrane over the tonsil. The lymph node on the posterior triangle of the neck is also enlarged along uh, with uh, there is a splenomegaly. In peripheral blood smear, there is 50% of the lymphocyte is present along with 10% atypical cells. In WBC, uh, it increases in second week and the Paul Bunnell test or Mono test um, is done in which there is high titer of heterophile antibody is seen. And the hint that uh, the patient is suffering from infectious mononucleosis is that there is failure of antibiotic treatment. In a granulocytosis, we, uh, we can see that there is formation of an ulcerative necrotic lesion on the tonsil and elsewhere on the oropharynx. The patient here is severely ill uh, and there are two forms that is acute fulminant form and chronic or recurrent form. In acute fulminant form, there is um, less than 50 per millimeter cube of the cells in the uh, total leukocyte count and the neutrophil uh, is uh, less than 5%. In chronic or recurrent form, the TLC is less than 2000 per millimeter cube with less marked granulocytopenia. Talking about the leukemia, in leukemia we can know that in peripheral blood smear we can see that the TLC is more than 1 lakh per millimeter cube along with anemia and in examination of the bone marrow we can see that there is presence of the blast cells. In aptos ulcer um, there is uh, any part of the uh, oropharynx or the oral cavity can be involved and uh, it is very much painful and there is a uh, solitary membrane is formed over the oropharynx or the uh, oral cavity and in aptos ulcer it may involve the tonsil and the pillar and uh, the membranes are smaller large and are alarming in traumatic tonsil uh, there is a formation of membrane and it is due to the injury uh, to the oropharynx and usually the injury in the oropharynx it heals by membrane formation and here the membrane is formed within 24 hours and uh, the two other conditions where we can find the membrane over the tonsil is malignancy of the tonsil and the candida infection of the tonsil now um, when uh, we diagnose a person with a membrane over the tonsil, uh, we need to uh, do following uh, test like history needs to be taken, physical examination needs to be done. We can do TLC and DLC uh, so that we can be able to differentiate between leukemia or granulocytosis and infectious mononucleosis. For infectious mononucleosis, we can also do a Paul Bunnell or Monospat uh, test. Yeah, the blood smear can also be done for atypical cells. Throat swab and culture um, helps to indicate uh, the growth of certain organisms, uh, which may indicate the condition like if there is growth of bacteria like streptococcus, uh, it indicates that it is a condition of uh, membranous tonsillitis. 
Uh, in diphtheria, uh, there is growth of Corynebacterium diphtheria. And uh, in candida infection of the tonsil, there is growth of candida. The bone marrow aspiration can also be done to see the blast cells as in uh, leukemia. A needle biopsy can, done, can be done for malignancy. Um,